that last post I did really raised a ruckus. Well, I called Betty and I wanted her to address all of the sexual misconduct allegations against Trump because I think for good, bad, or indifferent, Trump got us talking about sexuality, female sexuality, and consent, and all of these issues that are kind of mired in a lot of social myths and sex roles. <laughs> And yes. the slut stigma and the virginity myth and all of those wonderful things. Uh. <laughs> and you made an interesting point before. You said, you know, we have to teach our girls how to say yes and how to say no. And we only teach them to say no. Under and certain circumstances. It's like that they say no across the board. Until they meet someone they fall in love with. And then they can say yes. But they don't know what that is, love. What is love when you're a teenager or you're in your 20s? I think it's sex. It's <laughs> lust. It's attraction. What's attraction? It's chemical. Hormones. Animal. Yeah. The wrong one. So the guy I'm attracted to says no, and then I marry the next guy who comes along and he's all wrong. <laughs> well, it's like when you're on birth control, you're on hormone, the pill, it will change who you find attractive because your body is telling your, you know, itself with the hormones that you're pregnant, so you don't. The, the egg doesn't implant. So because of that, you find men that are like your best friends more attractive. Well, I found a lot of men attractive, frankly. I mean... Just... Well, what about just fucking for the sake of fucking? Can we just let women do what guys do? Guys play yeah. the field to figure out what they want. Why can't women? I Why can't we do woman, that? every woman to have at least 10 partners of, of sex. Now, you get criticized. I know. For that statement, for the people who, like, met their high school love and they end up getting married and having kids and it's wonderful, which I think is really, really rare. Doesn't happen. But sometimes I had sex with people I didn't find attractive because I wanted to know about that. And I had sex with someone who was in their 70s because I wanted to feel, you know, what will it be like to have sex with an old I had sex thing? with people because I was horny. Yeah, or you're just bored. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, why can't we have sex just for fun? Yeah, and why does there always have to be some agenda? And why is it that women are always the victim? That's what I resent. I My whole like thing that. with grab her by the pussy is we know, look at the front of romance novels, that women like that kind of passionate, I the really man want you. Yes, to have her right now. And now that I have a son, like, how does he supposed to know when that's appropriate or not? <laughs> you know? Well, it just raised a shitstorm is what it did. And I'm saying that we have to be more realistic that that is like how many men, many men, not all men. Well, think. we teach men to be aggressive sexually and women to be passive sexually, and that creates rape culture. So we can't be surprised when these things happen. <laughs> what if we taught our girls just to say, hey, I, th I think you're really nice and you're really attractive. Yeah, I'll come up to your room. Let's have sex. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right? Oh, and by the way, I'm not on birth control, so bring the condoms. I'll bring the lube and the vibe. Uh-huh. <laughs> and here's no, the sex acts that I'm even, really interested in even, having. You don't even get to that far with no. the negotiation. And you don't say, like, you know, I'm not really into anal, but I really like, you know, the combination orgasm. I'll do my own clit stim. You fuck my vag. I mm -hmm. really like dirty talk. <laughs> so feel free. <laughs> This is a woman who is very sophisticated, what you just described. But I feel like that's that should just be like the run of the mill. That should just be the way it is. Yes, but we don't do that. What we do is we start kissing. And, and then it just happens. And then it just happens. And then afterwards, I feel like women sometimes have like buyer's remorse. Afterwards, you're like, I didn't want to do that, but you did. You couldn't find your voice to say yes or no. Well, you're involved in it because it was feeling good, <laughs> you know. So it's hard to say. It's hard to leave it at all up to the woman to say no, isn't it, really? The whole thing is the, just a mess. It is a mess. <laughs> so women have to be taught how to say yes to sex and how to say no to sex. Mm -hmm. Now, one of our blockers still didn't get what I was trying to say, and I just want her to know. Well, it triggers people. You know, it, it, it's so kind of... It, it's, it's just so many issues mushed into one. It's, yeah, exactly. 
you know, of... I want to have sex. I don't want to have sex. The woman is conflicted. She wants to have sex, but she doesn't... But she's not prepared. Uh, the man wants sex. He doesn't care. He knows that it's up to her. She'll get pregnant if something goes yeah, wrong. Yeah, so he'll just not do anything unless she says, by the way, use birth control. Well, there you have it. <laughs> so it's all on the woman to deal with this. What if we shared it? What if we shared it? What if... What if we told our young women about sex and said it would be okay to have sex? Be prepared. Yeah. Get your And you know what? Pregnant. I've had guys grab me, not by the pussy, but I've had people grab and kiss me or hug me. And I knew how. I just put my hand on their chest. I'm going to say, you know, I, at another time, maybe. But Later. not now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Later. And you just walk away. You have to know how to get in and out of situations. Well, Part of that is self-love, grounding. <laughs> Acknowledging who you are as a, as a person. Yeah. We have to know how. To, to, to have the, um, the, the wherewithal to push them away. I mean, I remember one time I was on the floor having a wrestling match. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't intend that, but it actually felt good to, you know, match my muscles with his. Yeah, I've done that. Well, I had an older brother, so did you. So but I was never the, afraid of men. The brother thing is very helpful. Yeah. Because we know how to uh, to fight. And you have to know certain situations mean certain things. I think we need to have conversations with our daughters at a very young age. And this whole bringing them up to be princesses and Prince Charming is going to come put a slipper on your foot and marry you. We need to like, that, uh -huh. that's not teenage boys. That's not most men. That's uh -huh. not the way it's no. going to go. We need no. to prepare them for the real world. That's all. And the real world can be great. And it would you help know? throw in a little martial arts. Yeah. Being able to, to throw a punch. Well, to defend themselves, yeah. or to, I always like that, that that technique where I put my foot behind their foot and then push them over. Simple things. <laughs> you know, and then you don't have to have a press conference. I don't ever want to have to call Gloria Allred. <laughs> like Gloria. As well, well, I don't want to have to call Gloria Allred and have a press conference and say some guy made a pass at me. Like for me, it's just so lame. It makes women look so lame that it gets me angry. We're not victims. We no, can say not, yes, not and we really. can say no. And if, you, if someone offers you money to have sex, you say, oh, no, thank you. You're an asshole. And walk away. Tell him to go fuck himself. I do. I do. I mean, yeah. oh, I haven't done it lately. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, if someone grabbed me now and said I want to It would be very you, exciting. I, really? <laughs> See, there's a time. <laughs> You'll look back on these days. Yes, you'll look back on those days and say, gee, I haven't been grabbed for a while. <laughs> oh, America. No, uh, we know that it's serious. It is serious. And, and we know that, um, that we have to learn to say no and to say yes to sex. Both, thing, both things have to be taught. Yes. That's all there is to it. So if no one's teaching you, we just said it. It's here on Dotson and Ross. Learn to say no. And learn to say yes, okay? Go have some.